Welcome back to Expo Nevada, and I'm Red Ocelot. I'm Jack Silverson, and we feel good. We can win. We can do this. Versus Are you talking to yourself? Fight. Fuck yes, I am. Mother, fuck you! Versus Baldo, fight! Knock up! Let's win! Maybe I'll win this time. So you can Versus Baldo, fight! Versus Baldo, fight! My fury! Do I? Uh, I was referencing an old uh, board game called Nightmare. Oh, You're in serious bad news mode here. Knockout. Fuck yeah! You win. If I had defended at all, I would have lost my blade. Indeed. Alright. There we go. The Midas Blade. Is that his best weapon? No. Oh. You get the best weapon for doing the final battle for every character. See, there are all yeah, there are only eight for each. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna need extremely high attack power. It's time to fight Cervantes de Leon. A port. Uh, at last, Hong arrived at the place he believed Soul Edge was located. A port harbor in Spain where the great pirate Cervantes de Leon was once based. The pirate ship Adrian lay anchored in the dock. There's evil all around. I must be close. Hong prepared himself and then stepped on the ship. On the deck, he found a man who held ominously shining swords in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Your burning soul will soon belong to my holy blades. Cervantes de Leon. Now let's see me die about a hundred thousand times. Versus Cervantes. Fight. Bravely folk song. This is such a fitting song for the final boss. Even though he's not. Not technically. Go oh, fuck! But you lose. Yeah. Cervantes is a bastard. Let's be honest about yeah. that. He's he's a very difficult character to First, fight. Cervantes. Fight. Cervantes. There are actually two ways to unlock uh, Soul Edge in this game. And one of them is to uh, beat uh, Edge Master with every character. The other is to beat Arcade Mode with every character within an eight hour period without resetting the game. And that's from initial boot up. Yeah. It means from the time you turn the game on to the time you finished Arcade Mode with the 10th character, only eight hours. You have to do it within eight hours and you'll get Soul Edge. Does it have to be on a specific difficulty to do that? No. There is no difficulty setting. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. yeah, you see how fast he takes he takes them apart there? Yeah, Cervantes is amazing. He's a good character, too. Versus Cervantes. As a final boss character, he ain't even the final boss. This, Cervantes is the, uh, Cervantes is M. Bison and, uh, Inferno is, uh, the Or if you want a different analogy, Cervantes is Shang Tsung and Inferno is Shao Kahn. Yeah. Here we go. Powering up into Inferno mode. 
Now I'm going to fucking die. Now for the final <laughs> boss, Ghost Rider. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you will probably First see me goal. have to fight Cervantes about a thousand times if I don't kill uh, Soul Edge here. Although, it's kind of hard to do because he may not do it every time, but there's a really easy way to kill Soul Edge. Really? Yeah, if he does his like, flying diving attack, yeah. if you step out of the way, he will kill himself. Yeah. He will bring himself out. It's fucking hilarious when it happens, too. Versus I wish Bravely Folk Life. Song could play like 99% of the time I play this it's game. It's such a good song. Such a climactic song, too. You see that Cervantes did one fucking combo and he just fucking killed me? Splish. Splish. Well, that takes care of Inferno, too. <laughs> I fucking wish. Yeah. Oh, look, he fell in the water. Well, no Inferno. <laughs> Versus Soul Edge. One combo. Yeah, Soul Edge is a bastard, no doubt about it. He hit me like a total of four times and I died. Cervantes. Versus Cervantes. Fight. The arranged version that, of Bravely Folk Songs in this game. It's been a long time since I've listened to it. Yeah. It's really the thing, dude. You've got to bring your A game when you're playing Soul Edge. Yeah. I'm trying to think of other analogies I could use to describe uh, Cervantes and uh, Inferno. And Inferno, by the way, guys, is not the most difficult super boss there's ever been. That honor goes to one person and one person only. People out there, you know that person you like? Cervantes is uh, their ex. Cervantes. Cervantes is their ex and Inferno is their father. Yes. <laughs> They're a defensive parent of choice. <laughs> yep. When you're going for a job yeah. interview, Cervantes is the secretary and Inferno is the person you're interviewing with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking evil. <laughs> Fucking evil. Cervantes. Yes. Fight. Well, that's probably not doing me any favors now, is it? <laughs> this is, uh, by far. Damn. Cervantes is one of my favorite characters in this game. Cervantes' final boss in this game is Soul Edge. He fights the spirit inside of him. And kicks its ass. And gets his soul back. And stays immortal. Obviously, in his words, ending is non-canon. In other words, Cervantes gets, Cervantes gets to have his cake and eat it, too. Son of a bitch, dude. I know. Why am I saying I know? You know. But you lose. One more try, and that'll be the end of this episode. Indeed. Versus Cervantes. 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 Apparently he heard you. <laughs> Next time on Expo Devoted, we'll be fighting Cervantes and Soul Edge and hopefully winning. 